Well, good evening, everybody. I want to start my remarks this evening with sincere congratulations for the class of 2018. I also want to say thank you to all of the staff who have worked with you and to assist you on your journey here tonight. You're here this evening with your friends and your family looking on in order to celebrate a new beginning in your life. I know I'm biased, but I truly believe that your new chapter in life will be enhanced by your involvement in the Academy of Finance. As members of the Academy of Finance, you've already made significant steps toward achieving success now and in the future. You've managed both high school and college credit, and you've experienced the world of business through your AOF internship. Your completion of these requirements puts you ahead of many high school graduates. You have a great start on the competencies required for a successful future. Take your knowledge, your common sense, work hard, live with integrity, and success will be attained. Of that I am certain. I wish you the best. All of us in this room are, are really rooting for you. And I close tonight the same way that I opened. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you, Dr. Maher, and, and good evening to all of you again. Um, I'm going to start actually by bragging instead of finishing by bragging. So with Penny and Sharon's leadership, our Academy of Finance has earned what they call model status, um, now the second year in a row, hopefully third soon. Um, what that really is is uh, they take a look at all of the kind of goals that the model and the NAF program sets out, um, the challenges and the, the strengths in implementing the uh, driven, excuse me, implementing results driven educational design. Um, so that's a testament to all the good leadership that you two, amongst a host of others, uh, provide to this academy. Uh, so the beginning of my speech now. <laughs> um, when you look up quotes around preparation, basically you see the same general pretense. Luck occurs when preparation meets opportunity. Back in 1982, that's when the, the, then, the then CEO of Citigroup, Sandy Weil, said to a House of Representatives Ways and Means Committee, you saw young people in the street, no real direction, no kind of concept of what the next step was. That's where he thought the, uh, the private sector, at that point Citigroup, and the, NAF, and the NAF programs should get together and help the public group, uh, exposing young people high school students into the career of, in the financial services industry. So now 36 years later, there's 644 academies of finance, hospitality and tourism, information technology, engineering and health sciences. This year they've served 100,000 students in 36 states, preparing them for the next steps in life, teaching them how to succeed and how to persevere. So thank you for your support, Ms. Brunkin. What's up for you? Thank you, Andy. We would like to recognize our summer internship sponsors and interns. When I call your name, please stand. From Roosevelt High School, we have Junior Achievement, Luke Bunkers. Sioux Falls Federal Credit Union, Brianna Hubbard. Lincoln High School, Lifescape, Andy Malaterre. Baltic High School, Tip Top Tux, Lexis Grosby. New Tech High School, Zeal, Jimmy Johnston. First National Bank in Sioux Falls, Casey Whitrock. Metabank, Nick Even. Lifescape HR, Caden Lechner. Schulte Subaru, Olana Noble. Washington High School, First Premier Bank, Dylan Woodley. Salmons Financial, Danica Zimmer. We are exceptionally excited and proud of our students to be placed in these internships and we thank the businesses for sponsoring them. Let's give them a round of applause.
I also would like to mention that several of our students will be attending the Youth Business Adventure at USD, June 17th through the 22nd. Danica Zimmer, Andy Malater, Brianna Hubbard, and Casey Whitrock. These students can earn two college credits along with a $1,500 scholarship as they apply for those on campus. Last year, Logan Johnson, Jaden Cease, Tate Olson, and Andrew T.D. attended to represent the AOF program. We also have an opportunity for students to attend the Accounting Institute July 8th through the 12th at USD as well. This year, Casey, Andy, Brianna, and Dylan will be attending and last year, Tate attended to represent the AOF program. We have no boy staters this year, but we did last year. And I would like to recognize their leadership, Jackson, Chris, Logan Johnson, and Tate Olson as well. So thank you for representing the AOF program. And at this time, we would like to ask Alex Arango Gomez to come up and say a few words on the behalf of seniors. Hello, my name is Alex, as she said. It's pretty fancy. I never get one of these, but uh, <laughs> all right, here's my speech that I wrote for the AOF Academy. When I had finally seen the opportunity, when it had finally presented itself to me, I was hesitant. I was scared of the opportunity that had finally introduced itself to me. Then I remembered a famous quote from Muhammad Ali, if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough. I wanted to be successful, but I didn't know how to get there. I was a sophomore in high school, and as you might imagine, I was lost, confused, and pressured into finding what it was I wanted to study and do for the rest of my life. That was when I found a business program that could lead to many college credits. I decided, I decided to start with an accounting class and after that, the Academy of Finance led the way. I began to see more opportunities open up once I got into Intro to Financial Services and Banking and Credit. While attending these classes, we were able, or we were asked to create a business and make it a reality. Never had I experienced something so real as to where I would be able to invest my own money into our business and try to make a profit. The AOF teaches you what you need in order to be successful and then has you put it to the test. The AOF program also brought to mind the, the, or attending college after high school, something I wasn't sure I wanted to do. However, we were able to visit the Beacom School of Business at the University of South Dakota, and now I'm sure it's what I want. I was then able to nail a great internship at the, oh, for the summer of my junior year at the Sioux Falls School District. I recognize some faces, it's nice to see you guys. Uh, there I had the chance to take some Excel classes to boost my knowledge, all covered by the internship. Shortly after starting my senior year, another opportunity showed its way to me. My good friend, Logan Johnson, also a member of the AOF, was working at Wiser Distributing and Tea. He had done his internship at Wiser and was hired on. He had mentioned to me a position that was open and suggested I apply for it. With the experience I had gained at both my internship and through the AOF, I didn't hesitate to write them an email letting them know I was interested. It really goes to show that it's not only what you know, it's who you know and who knows you. To wrap up my senior year and my time at the Academy of Finance, I chose to take advantage of one more opportunity. Before going to work, I had some extra time in the afternoon and was able to student teach Ms. Brumpkin's Intro to Financial Services and Banking and Credit courses. Being able to do so was an eye-opening and fascinating experience. It was amazing to think our graduating class had been doing so much work at such a fast pace. I was able to recognize that those who chose to work hard at it struggled less than those who chose to slack off. I was also intrigued by how quickly the AOF was able to evolve in order to adapt to changing times. With the business project I had mentioned previously, Ms. Brunken and the AOF were able to tie in a mobile app for the students' businesses. Students were able to create an app in which they would market their products and have their customers order online. I came to the Academy of Finance not knowing what it was I wanted to do with my life after high school. I was lost and unsure if a career in business was right for me, and now and now I'm sure I wasn't the only one that wanted the same thing. But it's nice to, say, to think that those who stuck with it are glad they did. Everyone in the AOF program has worked hard to make sure that they are constant opportunities for every student. With that, I would like to thank the Sioux Falls School Board, the CTE Administration at each high school, 
Sharon Schuler, AOF facilitator, the AOF advisory board, and parents and classmates for all their support and guidance to prepare us for our future. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. So now we get the fun part, at least for those seniors in the room. Uh, I'm going to go through the what the Wayne Rasmussen Scholarship is, and uh, then we'll show who the two lucky winners are. Uh, so this scholarship was started back in 2002 to recognize an Academy of Finance graduate who best exemplifies the characteristics of leaderships, dedication, and enthusiasm for the AOF program. The two, scholarship, two, the two $500 scholarships are named for Wayne Rasmussen, who served as the Citibank Public Relations Managers for roughly 20 years until he retired back in 2002. He was instrumental in bringing the AOF program to Sioux Falls 19 years ago. He is a, Wayne is a native of Howard, South Dakota, and a graduate of SDSU. Go Jacks. It's the one, <laughs> it's the one Jacks reference we'll get in here. Uh, he played football, baseball, and basketball while at SDSU. He went on to uh, uh, a career in the NFL where he played for the Detroit Lions from 64 to 73 as a defensive back. And he is a member of both the SDSU Sports Hall of Fame as well as the South Dakota Hall of Fame. Uh, he and his wife live out near Brandon to this day. So, I'll let you do the names and I'll do the certificates. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first one is Logan Johnson. All right, and our second winner tonight is Alex Arango Gomez. Next up, we have Sean Hartnett. We'll give our address tonight. All right, seniors. Whew. You guys feel that pressure just going right off right now? Right? You guys getting excited? Finishing high school? Well, I'm Sean Hartnett. I work at the University of South Dakota in the Beacon School of Business. I always like to talk to students. I've done a few graduation talks before. And I always like to talk to the students about success. You can do it. And that's one of the big things. I, I'm, have you guys ever read the book, The Little Engine That Could? <laughs> My son is three years old, and I, I read that to him at least once a month. It's a really great book, and it's got a little great meaning behind it. Before I jump in and talk about what it takes to succeed in college and some advice, I want to talk a little bit about this program. This program has been excellent for the Beacon School of Business because the students that come in are prepared. This is a very unique program that isn't offered all over the place, and I'm glad you students have taken advantage of it. And Ms. Brunken, who has came to USD before, I actually got to meet a lot of you students and actually a lot of the juniors as well too, and I'll tell you, you students are ready for whatever is out there that is gonna be given at the Beacon School of Business. I actually talked to some professors before I came here to get a little word from what they thought of the Academy of Finance graduates. The first thing that comes to mind is hard work. You guys did internships, or some of you are planning to do internships, some of you have already done the internships, and they can tell that you students are understanding what it means to be in business. And they see that when you come to class. And that gets them very excited to teach and they're very excited for you guys to come and experience if you're coming to the Beacon School of Business. The other thing is passion. Passion is something that I can clearly see when the students come. When you guys came and visited this last, what, a couple weeks ago, Dr. Jan Tracy did a really fun, it was called Supply Chain Basketball. And you can see that the students are trying to figure out, okay, what does this actually mean? And what is this all about? And they, after that, Dr. Jan Tracy kind of explained what this means to students, you can see their eyes light up 
saying, oh, this is something I could go into in the future. And the dean of the School of Business, Dean Venke, said that these students are students that we want. We, we think that they're some of the best students around, and there's no other students that can compare because of all the background knowledge that you get from the Academy of Finance. So parents, rest assured that your students coming up to you, our school or going to another business school are going to be in very good hands because of the knowledge that they've gained here at the Academy of Finance. So just give a round of applause for the Academy of Finance. So I've been in the call, I've been working with college students for, this has got to be my sixth or seventh year, and I've worked with a lot of high school students, and I've worked with uh, some entry level as they come in for their junior, freshman and sophomore year. And these are some words of advice that I actually got when I graduated high school that I feel like I should share with you guys. The first thing is something called carpe diem. Seize the day. You guys are going to have a lot of things thrown at you in college. There's going to be a lot of work which some of you might be excited for, some might not be. There might be a lot of opportunities to be involved in intramurals or student groups, and there might be a lot of opportunities to have little fun activities with friends in residence halls. Seize it all. This is the time of your life in college where you really get to find out who you are. I would tell you in high school, I got to learn a lot about what it takes to be successful in college, but in high school, you really get to find out what you're made of. So take advantage of that and seize that. The next thing that sometimes for students can be challenging is jump out of your comfort zone. There are going to be times when you're like, I don't know if I really want to do this. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I should take this class. I don't know if I should do this internship. I don't know if I should join this intramural group. Jump out of your comfort zone you might be surprised at what might happen. One of my friends was very shy, he came right out of high school, we did not want to go do anything out of his comfort zone. He actually joined an intramural group, and he ended up actually finding out his profession he wanted to go into, which was sports marketing. And I'll tell you right now, he's doing very well for himself. He works up in, uh, for the twins up in Minneapolis right now, just by joining a group he didn't know that he wanted to do. So when something comes along and you feel like, oh, I don't know, give it a shot. You never know what might come out. <clears throat> it could be your future job, could be a future spouse, could be a great group of friends, or could be a really great learning experience. Ask for help. Not everyone can figure everything out on their own. Go to your parents. I know this is something that sometimes it's hard for high school students to hear, but go ask your parents for help. They're there along the way. They've been through your shoes. Some of them might have went to college, some might not, but they do know some life experiences that might help you. So always give them a little call here and there every once in a while. Go to your professors. For some students, you guys have got to experience meeting actually some college professors, and some of you might not have had that total experience quite yet. They are there to help. Do not be afraid to ask for their help. I guarantee when you do, you will make a great new friend along the way. Also, meet your resident assistants. I know this is something that you guys are really getting excited about living, meeting your new roommates and friends. Go to your resident assistants. They will help you along that way as well too. So if you're having trouble finding an area that you're interested in or going to a student group, ask for help. And lastly, the one thing that you should always ask for help from is the staff along campus. People like me, we are really excited for you guys to come to campus and learn and experience new things. We want, we're, we want you to come up and ask for help. So that is the one big thing I always tell students, the most successful students are the ones that ask for the help and go get that help. And lastly, one of the, the most important things is work hard. Of course, study for your classes, go to your classes, but work hard in everything that you do. If you are going to do an intramural sport, work hard at it. If you're going to do a project, work hard at it. If you do an internship, work hard at it. I would tell you the most successful people in the, one, in the world are the ones that work the hardest. 
And I'll tell you, a good work ethic will take you very far. And right now, you guys, I already know a lot of you students have a very strong work ethic. But this is another great time to learn some new skills along with that. And with that, I will close and thank you guys very much for letting me speak today. Before we recognize our seniors, I would like to say a few words. Great leaders. Ronald Reagan said, the greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. They are the ones that get people to do the greatest things. 2000, 2018 Academy of Finance students are ready for those great leadership roles. We have done many great things in the Academy of Finance program together. Each year, the AOF students make us proud in the quality of work they have done and the challenges we have faced during our learning curve about business. As future business leaders, we are ready for new learning experiences to challenge ourselves to be the best we can be. I attended the NAF National Academy Foundation NAF Next conference in Texas this past summer, and I learned there about mobile apps. And I thought this would be a wonderful idea to bring it back to the classroom for the entrepreneurial projects. We had three groups create mobile app using the Lenovo MIT website to code design to enhance their marketing in their entrepreneurship businesses. These are the business names and mission statements. Bold, empowering people to not be afraid to stand out and be themselves by selling inspirational jewelry. Perfect ports, to provide customers with an affordable, durable, and convenient charging source for mobile phone devices. <coughs> Sugar Rush, intends to provide unique, fun experience to enjoy sweet treats to the New Tech High School. Thank you to the assistance of Logan Johnson and Alex Arango Gomez for helping us teach, learn, and produce our first mobile apps for the AOF program. So check us out <coughs> on the Facebook page, CTE Academy of Finance. To prepare great leaders, we have offered national certification to represent our future leaders' knowledge. For the first time, we have graduates of, with NAF certification in all four courses. We started this process two courses in 2015 2015 and 2016 school year, then all four <coughs> courses last year. Students have passed the national exam from the following courses, Accounting 1, Accounting 2, Intro to Financial Services, Banking and Credit, and a paid summer internship. With the certification, students will list their credentials on their resume and NAF sponsors, which over 50 companies participate. For example, KPMG, Deloitte, Marriott, State Farm, Verizon, and AT&T, and many more, will offer an automatic interview for positions that NAF students are applying for. To seal our credentials for our future business leaders, our partnership with USD and STI, we can offer more college credits. Starting in 1999, we offered only three credits, and now we all offer 20 credits, in hopes to continue providing opportunities for our AOS students. It is with great leaders from our community, school counselors, school district administration, our AOF CT advisory board, is strong to support the quality and experience in the direction of success. We would like to have all advisory board members stand to be recognized. And let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> we appreciate their expertise and their support for the AOF program. And thank you to Sharon Schuler, the AOF facilitator, for her leadership and commitment to this program we appreciate your passion to make this program the best in the Midwest. Congratulations to our Academy of Finance seniors and future business leaders. Be proud of your accomplishments as we are proud of you. It is better to look back on life and say, 
I can't believe I did that. Then to look back and say, I wished I would have done that. Let's welcome Mr. Hall to recognize our graduates. Okay, students, when we call your name, if you would, come forward and accept your certificate. Boris Bogdanovich. Luke Bunkers. Jackson Chris. Drake Gertis. Alex Arango Gomez. Logan Johnson. Tate Olson. Jaden Cease. Andrew T. John Wilhelmson. Congratulations to our class of graduates for this year. Again, please help me recognize the graduates. <laughs> Students, as was said earlier, actually multiple times, we know that you're gonna leave us prepared to accomplish great things. The Academy of Finance does a great job of preparing you for what's after high school. Um, it'll be exciting to hear your stories as you come back and visit, I hope, and, and tell us about all the things that you accomplish. So again, congratulations, students. Um, at this time, I guess in closing here, I want to just thank our, our industry and business partners. Without them, this, this isn't possible. It really isn't, especially Citibank, um, who has been there um, since the beginning uh, to support the program, the Academy of Finance program. So again, thank you to our industry partners, and also thank you to, to the administration of the Sioux Falls School District, our school board, um, uh, board member Albert is, is back here. Thank you, um, it's, without that support, we wouldn't be able to be able to, to support it and move forward with a program like this, so thank you. Um, at the conclusion here, we would like to remind students that we're gonna meet just real quickly before we dig into the goodies back there, right uh, inside the doors for a picture, so graduates, uh, advisory board members, school board members, and then school administration as well as our teaching staff. Uh, if we could get you to just zip back there real quick before we dig into the goodies and we're going to get some pictures and then we'll enjoy some social time.